Hi, Mother. Okay. You know what? Skip intro. It's okay. <laughs> There's so much. I can't do so much going on. I'll do it now. Okay. Okay. After the drill. Where's my hair? Okay. So what's going in here? Mm -hmm. We got her. Rice vinegar. vinegar. Or salt. And sugar. This is what my tuna avocado looks like. Jessica's just pure tuna right here. Classic. So right here is our mukbang setup. We got our salmon avocado rolls and then some avocado rolls. Salmon sashimi, sabi, soy sauce, and a Filipino touch to it, which is our taho right here, which is essentially just your boba. Not very Filipino, but couldn't really find sago. And then, yeah, you guess. And then, collab with the sister! <laughs> yeah! Well, hello, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Abby, and this is my sister, Jessica. Hello. We're gonna do a sushi count, actually, to see who eats the most in the end. Sorry, I'm so used to, like, sitting up. <laughs> we were rolling for, I think, a good two hours. Yeah. And she has. She has. There's nothing so zen about rolling sushi though. It kind of went by fast. It did. Because I'm so into it. It did freak me out every time like the roll broke. But it's fine. You know, we're still beginning. Look at this goodness. You're just letting it sit. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have the plate to. So there you go. Letting it marinate a little bit, no, you know? Like, wait. Okay, I don't know where to put Keep it. You know what? Wait, no. Just put this. Okay. Yeah! Oh my gosh! So much! Genius! <laughs> if I wouldn't know any better, I would think this is going to ice cream. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> now we're back. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Ooh! We have this. Did I just block your camera? <gasps> okay, no. I don't like how empty it is over there. <laughs> go, go back. <laughs> I like how... This is not the fatty kind of salmon you can <gasps> see sometimes. The streaks aren't that thick. So that's how you know it's, I guess, a happy salmon. Because he wasn't that stressed out to gain fat. Oh wow. Good, right? It was not fishy. It's not fishy at all. It's still kind of frozen. <laughs> she was saying something earlier about how there's no female sushi chefs out there. And how that we, we should, should open, our open one. one. And I said, we're not even Japanese, so what do people think? <laughs> you know, like I don't know where to stare. <laughs> oh, you look at your camera. Yeah, I'm looking at mine too. <laughs> but I don't want them like your video. We're looking up <laughs> because we're recording at the same time. <gasps> I know. It keeps dropping in there. So I think that's two. This is my second one. I like don't want to count that. We can always look at the You know, we'll just put counters. Oh, I just did. <laughs> we'll just put counters. One, two. I'm not throwing one. This is such good protein gains because I, I worked out yesterday and I'm in a lot of pain. And just eating this and knowing that I'm in pain from my workouts feels like my gains will be really good. <laughs> you ever get that feeling, that thought, where you're like, I'm so sore right now, I gotta eat all the potion I can yeah. during the soreness so that I can recover the best way, stronger. Sushi's like better. the best. There are like a lot of power lifters who, who eat sashimi a lot after they lift. Mm-hmm. 
What's his name? Hedgenisty? 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 What is it, you know? He owns that. What's that called? Both hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Very true, too. And it has like, you get mm, the, the penguin has like a Japanese sushi idea. Like a sushi chef and Donna. Yeah, it's really cute. It's very typical to meet a lifter who loves sushi. It's, it's very hard to find one that doesn't know. Especially now that the sushi phenomenon has boomed up in the past four years. It wasn't this popular four years ago. Especially like sushi bowls. Mm -hmm. Some of those have like the none of the sushi buffets existed four years ago. Now there's now they're popping up everywhere. <laughs> I'm not complaining. And I think I only started liking sushi four years ago. I remember thinking it was the grossest thing in the world. Wasn't I couldn't understand the notion that eating raw fish was okay with this kind of texture. You have to get over the texture first, and that's what I think. And then also the spiciness of wasabi. I think when I first tasted wasabi, I thought it was mustard, mm. and I hated it. Okay, this is the spiciest mustard I've ever tasted. Now I love it. Cause now like, you I know how to it. use it. I need it on my sashimi. Kind of like, kind of like baga ong and kare kare. Filipino oh, I love peanut bagu butter bagu. soup. If you put too much vodka on, you're probably gonna hate it. But if you put enough to complement it, it'll taste fine. But I put like a lot of vodka on. Mm. Because I think you just like my own. My bird. My nose. I cannot eat vodka on like that. No, I just can't. <laughs> you're jumping me. I am. <laughs> but you're the only person to know who does that. They either can eat it in small doses or not want to eat it at all. But mm -hmm. then they're, they're, re they're repulsed by the smell and taste. But I like it. It's, it's shrimp, deep. isn't it? Isn't it shrimp? It's nasty. You're nasty! <laughs> it's fermented shrimp. Oh my god! <laughs> Why don't you grab it from the center? I don't know why it's tipping like that. <laughs> <laughs> Want some hot hot? Not good. It's good. It's fine. <clears throat> My spots better be good tomorrow. <laughs> <clears throat> Anything with braces is difficult. <laughs> it's like a little, I guess, mouth guard and food. Well, all the rice and the fish just get stuck there. Mm. Wow. No, that's a good idea. Dip it in soy sauce first. Because okay. it always falls in there. I was watching a documentary earlier how they were making sushi. The sushi chef would always dip the fish in the soy sauce, like let it marinate a little bit, take it out, put a slice of wasabi, wasa and then put the rice, soy sauce, and the sushi. And eat like that. I used to do that. Whenever they bring out, um, what's it called? What's the one where the rice is on? Where is it underneath it? Not like the rolls? No, that's sushi, right? This is maki, and this is sashimi. Really? Yeah, this is maki rolls. Mm -hmm. Sushi is the one that like the fish is sitting on top mm -hmm. of the rice. With that, uh, I usually take the fish off and let it marinate in <laughs> there. And then I put it back on the rice. Is that the one in the adventure? I do that anywhere, sometimes. Anywhere. Unless it's the eel. I feel like you can't dip that in soy sauce because it has its own sauce. Exactly, that's like the only one you don't do. 
Because it's just good by itself. So. <clears throat> so Do you Jess, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> this is not one. That one. <laughs> we didn't plan on the topic, so we're just kind of winging it. There's <laughs> Kimmy and I think a Honeybee, but like, I don't know. Really like, honeybee. Honeybee, like, I like her. Mm -hmm. She used to be big. Really? Big. really? I, didn't, I didn't see her from before. I, I, I started watching her, I think, like, a year ago. I think it's Honeybee, because it sounds familiar. She has that intro where she goes, like, Hey, my honeybees. <laughs> You're first. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I think you know who, who my what, what, what age? What age? What grade? You don't remember your age. I think it was seventh grade. End of seventh grade. I remember. I remember it was the end of seventh grade, and I was I surprised him. I was like, <laughs> I was like, close your eyes. Really? You said it like that? Close your eyes. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, close your eyes. Close your eyes. That is not smooth. It was the last day of school too. That I was it his first day? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't the last day of school. It was Valentine's Day. It was his too. I think. Well, who cares about him? So you didn't even, you know, make a pickup line or no, not a smooth. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this video. Have you ever kissed anything? Like the mirror? <laughs> yeah, no, your hand. It doesn't matter. Anywhere, anything. Could be a doll. I've never kissed a doll before. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> so what, 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 you, you I've had... Thing. I did suck on my hand before, and then you were like, you just gave yourself a hickey, and I didn't know what a hickey was. <laughs> really? I remember that. I was like, I was like, we, I think we were like watching a movie, and I was like biting on my hand, and then like it left a red mark, and you were like, that's a hickey, and I was like, what? And you're like, oh my god, you gave yourself a hickey, and I was like, hi. Hi, Because I used to dog sit last week. And during Christmas season, people are going away and they need a dog sitter. And so, uh, it's kind Mom, of Mom, you're too cute. <laughs> kind of book is kind of an understatement, actually, because we had a total of ten dogs in the house, two of which being our dogs at home, and then two of which was yours. Two were mine, and then the six were mine. <laughs> we went like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but all my dogs were fine except the last one, which was a really cute terrier that That was your last one on New Year's had I think a small dog complex. It it wanted to bite everyone and anything. It chased um, me! It chased it me! It chased her wanting to bite her. But once the dog got acclimated to the environment, he became kind of sweet. But he was kind of weird looking too. His eyes were just like, looking in different directions. I think that was his try. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Wait, so your favorite milk burger is honeybee? Yeah. Can you describe it? Do you look like a big No. <laughs> I'm about to get so much aim on this. <laughs> She's still stirring up drama. She posted a new video. She just had three other friends try to back her up. Saying like, oh, you guys are throwing the word illegal out, like in the window. Like, what she's doing is not illegal. And then she was like, I'm in Canada, okay? Like, U.S. laws don't apply to me. And I'm like, someone said like, I think it was Nick Akano Avocado saying like, if you work for a company, you abide by their laws that they are in. You know? You do. Yeah, because YouTube is a U.S. company, so you abide by their laws. And like, he said. He said, it's like going, it's like going to Japan and then you, you like breaking their laws 
but it doesn't account to you because you're from Canada. You're still in their country. Yeah, you're going to make your life. I don't know, she's... Uh, Veronica Wang is just cancelled. <sighs> she's making her notorious. Her self notorious. I think she should just take a break or apologize. She doesn't want to apologize. She keeps saying she apologized, but she hasn't. I mean, she has, but like, she keeps saying, I'm sorry, but... Mm. It'll be come to it'll come to a point where her sorry has no value. So it's like okay. She what? keeps trying like, to make herself really like the victim. victim. She keeps trying to make herself the victim. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yeah. <sighs> it's okay. We have our own thing, which is this right now, sushi. <laughs> I mean, you see the look of the sushi. Look at it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Just look at it. It's not that fatty at all. It's pretty lean. So it makes you wonder. Is this wild caught? Wild caught sashimi? Because the <coughs> farm raised one. Don't they more that? Yeah, they're not as healthy looking as this. I went to get sushi last week and I had the best salmon of my life. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, you went oh, to yeah, the same restaurant? Yeah. I went on a weekday, so I think that's why. It's like, not that much people are going, so they have like really fresh fish. Mm. You know, I like the taste of wasabi. Like, I feel like I could do that just by itself. You should do an actual video by itself. Just do it. Hmm? Just wasabi? I think you get a amount of views. I'd be curious what that would be like. Yeah, let's do it now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's too early. You gotta put it in. <laughs> You'll be like, game over <laughs> soon. Mm -hmm. The best place to get sushi is uh, owned by this guy named Masa. I think Takayama. I don't know. Have you heard of him? I thought it was Hero. The one um, on Netflix? No, the one in America. Sorry. Oh. The, in America. New York, right? New yeah. York? Yeah. Mm -mm. His restaurant, you need to pay a minimum of $600 to eat there. So it's, I'm pretty sure his is like the restaurant where like... Some are imported. You sit at the bar and he gives it to you. Isn't it? Like so... Because I think... I'm pretty sure that's his restaurant. I think so. Like you can't sit down. It's in New you York. have to reserve it. You have to reserve a seat. Mm -mm. I wanted to go there, but it's too expensive. When I start working, and if I'm dating someone, because I'm not going to go to a bottle though. I mean, I could, I guess. But it'd be nice to share it with someone. Yeah. Treat a random person on the street. Why do you want sushi? You gotta pay 600 bucks, though. <laughs> I am treating you. <laughs> no, you gotta. That's me. <laughs> I ain't got six hundred dollars just for them to come. If you can invite them, you need to like pay for them too. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 It's the implication of it. Not really. Like, I feel like if it's a date and you establish who's paying. Wasabi. You know how they like, bring you're up your knees and little like, passages? You're supposed to breathe out. No, out of your mouth. You were so sorry. Oh my gosh. You know, I like to do this. Hold it. I was so doing that earlier really because it was like hard to hold. These cuts are so ugly. Yeah, I think like, <laughs> you put like the best looking ones all around, and now it's just like the <laughs> weird looking ones. Because the shape that was uh, of the block, 
it wasn't exactly rectangular, it was like oblong. Right here. I think we need more soy sauce. Don't you have the soy sauce? My t-shirt. Oh. It's BTSM.